Woohoo! I'm live! Okay, so this is Math 40 Elementary Algebra, section 3.5, page numero uno. And uh, it's very exciting because we've been studying lines, and then we studied slopes. And now we're going to stick slopes into lines and talk about a particular form of line called a slope intercept form. Okay, if this is very exciting. I can tell you guys are excited. I can feel the excitement uh, through time and space here. If you have an equation of a line in this form, 2x minus y equals 5. So basically, what have I got? I got the x and the y over on the left-hand side, and I've got a number on the right-hand side. And it says, I'm going to solve for y. So 2x minus y equals 5. There are a couple ways to solve for y. Some people might go ahead and abandon ship and just be like, I'm putting Y on the other side, and I'm totally with you. But for our purposes, I'm going to go ahead and be good. I'm going to leave the Y there, even though it's a minus. It annoys me, but I'm going to do it, and I'm going to subtract 2X. I'm going to put negative 2X on both sides. Now, because I have a particular goal in mind, I'm going to put the minus 2X first. In general, it doesn't matter which order you write it in. You can write it in either order, but I'm going to write the x first. Now, if I want to solve for y, I cannot leave this minus here. And everyone's got kind of a different perspective on this. To get rid of this minus, you could multiply everybody by a negative, or you could divide everybody by a negative. In class, I found I think people are more comfortable with the dividing one, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to divide every term on both sides. Make sure you don't skip anybody. Even the 5 gets its own minus 1. See, ter three terms, three minus 1s. And I get y equals, notice the minus over a minus, trying to trip us up. That's a plus. Again, let me see if I can fit my fingers in. Oh, you know what? I can do my pens. Two minuses, wait, I'm working in a mirror, it's not easy. Two minuses make a, what? A plus. Two minuses make a plus. Okay, I'm not sure it quite works, but we'll go with it. Um, so y equals 2x, positive 2x, and then over here, this 5 over a negative 1 becomes a negative 5. So we've got slope intercept form, believe it or not. 2 is the slope, and negative 5 is the y-intercept. Now, what does that look like in general? Well, you may have heard this, y equals mx plus b, where this is the slope, right? We use M, oh, sorry, I did it again. I wrote everything below where you could see it foolishly. I, you know, when you just, you get into doing some math, you get so excited about it, you forget. I know it happens to everyone, all the excitement of math. So let me say it again. Y equals two X minus five, two is the slope and negative five is the Y intercept. So in general, we say Y equals MX plus B, where M is the slope and B is the y-intercept. So in other words, the point zero B is on the line. And again, I went over. Let me see if I can give myself a little bit more space. There you go. Oh, you get to see the corner of the chocolate box that holds up my camera because I think, pardon me for a second, let me adjust, I know, growing pains. Um, chocolate is really is the foundation for everything, including math. So, um, okay, so let's, let's talk about this. What in the heck is happening? Y equals MX plus B. So you got to memorize this and you got to memorize the name slope intercept form. This is slope intercept form. This whole thing, this one, it's got to be memorized. It's got to be memorized for this class. It's got to be memorized for all the classes forever. Lines form a foundation for mathematics because they're the first thing you study. And it turns out that they're a really nice way to describe a lot of what's going on in the world. Um, even things that curve, 
basically we're going to be looking at from the perspective of lines, believe it or not. So this has got to go into your long-term memory for as long as you're going to be taking math, which hopefully is forever, right? Can't get enough math. So um, slope intercept form y equals mx plus b. Have I said it enough times? Okay, here we go. What if I gave you a problem, which I'm already laughing because, oh my goodness, I don't have enough room for this. What am I ever thinking with giving myself an inch of space? Okay, find the slope and the y-intercept of the line with this equation, 9x minus 3y equals 10. And so if you want the slope and the y-intercept, that means we need to solve for y. We want to get y equals. Okay, so what am I going to do? I've got 9x minus 3y equals 10. So then I'm going to subtract 9x from both sides. And just like I did before, on the right side, I'm going to write the x first. Because I know that in my slope-intercept form, I want mx plus b. So the x term goes first. Okay, let me write this over here negative 3y equals negative 9x plus 10. And I'm solving for y, so I'm going to divide everybody by a negative 3. So I get y equals negative 9 over negative 3 is a positive 3. Got it. So the number next to x is the slope, and the y-intercept is the point x equals 0, y equals negative 10 thirds. Now, why does this end up being the, the, the y-intercept? Well, if we look at this, what would happen if I plugged in 0 for x? If I plug in 0 for x, this term disappears, and you get y equals negative 10 thirds. Oops, that's why we get that up there. Okay. One of these days, I will learn to give myself more space. I mean, I've only been teaching for 30-something years. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Hope springs eternal. Okay. Write an equation of the line with slope equals negative 2. And y-intercept is 0, 5.4. Oh my gosh, I just gave you the biggest softball ever. As long as, as long as I've got, I know y equals mx plus b, my slope just gets plugged in right there. The slope is negative 2. That goes right in front of x. And whatever the y-coordinate of the y-intercept is goes in for b. Bam. We just finished the first page. Woohoo! Okay. I will meet you guys. Same bat time, same bat channel for page number two. Woohoo.